What's going on? It's your boy Nick Moses05, and I am here with my co-host. What's up, guys? It's Dust Specimen here. Oh man, this is a good one, man. Now, uh, Dust Specimen, you know, man, we got shocking news as this news came across our desk. We looked in amazement, and I think it's only right that we explain to everyone how the news came in and what we're looking at. Right? So, I think it's only right. Okay. So yeah, as sort of a sort of a quick recap, if you weren't here for the stream yesterday, we were told by an anonymous source that on Saturday, Mix Switch is going to be announcing a sort of Mix Switch 2.0 uh, that will be including a button uh, allowing you to actually move forward and back in your games without having to eject the card. Well, mm -hmm. I think you could tell what we're looking at right here. Mm, now, also with that, they mentioned I think it was a. Um... A normal sh or short press to move to the next game and i think it was a long press for previous game um and what else i think it was some oh the pre or uh anyone who has pre-ordered it who haven't received the version ones because their distributor was having an issue the distributor will be receiving these version twos instead so you were you know tore up for a second but you should be back in line that's what you know makes which you know leave it up to you own but they're trying to get you back in line right so you were right, man. What we're looking at is that MIG version 2 card. Now, how did we come across these screenshots? Mm, tasty question. Mm. Well, <sighs> let's just say that there's this little individual named Doug Bowser. No, no, I'm kidding. <laughs> he just dropped him off, too. But no, we... uh. We have a couple sources, man. We have a couple sources. Between us two, man, we have a plethora of sources. It is crazy, okay? And that's all we need to say on it. If people don't believe, if you want to come in and try to say something, we can, we can pull out receipts and start talking to us, but we don't like to do that, right? Just take a word for it. We, you know, if you don't believe it, oh well. But um, nonetheless, we have received these images and we're told directly, okay? Directly that this is it all right and i know people are gonna say who was it was it someone that worked on it was it a beta tester was it someone in a you know in the scene don't even matter right we got the images here for you right now now i don't know if these are the exact same images that will be posted on saturday right that's a good question because there was this announcement that mig has talked about all right i'm sure everybody has seen it on the website which we did talk about that as well so, with that out the way, now let's talk about the picture. And it's not just one. We have another picture of the other side. So, we are looking at the back of the MIG Switch version 2 card. Now, I can't really see what's different, though. Now, that's what I was going to say, Dr. Smithman. So, when looking at this, now I want to go ahead and see if I can just bring it up. So we're going to maximize a little bit bigger. But when you look at this, um, is there anything? And, you know, I, I'm i not going to, they put black on black, right? That was kind of crazy. You wish the button was a different color, give you a little more definition, right? If you had a red color I do, button. I do see that it is textured though, which I think it, would be very helpful. Yes, I agree. The texture is very helpful because something you mentioned did you press the button did you you know and it almost looks like it moves forward and back which is you know but we were told a short press next game previous long press now does it much look different does the size of it look different it almost looks like the casing is a little and i wish i had the others in front of me but the casing looks a bit is it a little bit wider what is that gap on the side is that normal no that gap actually is on my card so okay. i think that's right. just how it ends up because there's no it doesn't clip anywhere on the sides it only is screwed in at the top and then there's two hooks kind of at those very bottom corners um yeah. on the other side so um like far back down if you see like right there there's two hooks that kind of hook the card in at the bottom. So that's the only place that this is actually held together is the bottom two corners and the very top middle. Now this button right here, and it's very funny I was able to move the mouse because I'm not even looking at the image. I'm moving on a uh, restream, but <laughs> I'm still uh, moving on the screen apparently. But um, nonetheless, it doesn't look much different. I'm going to be honest, color scheme, same. 
if if you took off the sticker right or any coloring at all this is how the card looks it's a sleek black card now we're going to go ahead and move on to the next image here which is the front side okay this is the front side image this is also without the sticker so everyone knows if you took off your uh mid card sticker you would see it looks exactly like this now um not much different i see here either the nail is in the same spot um the buttons the there nail? uh a, oh, wow wow <laughs> I, it's late bro it's late the screw excuse me man it's late man all right for me it's late all right i've been up it's a long day man it's a long day hey, that'd be a heck of a way to hold this thing together they were trying yeah. to stop reversing bam just hit it one time you know what i mean <laughs> boom it's good to go throw it out the thing bam here's the next one bam you know what i'm saying but it's a screw my bad uh, a screw at the top there and then there's the button directly next to it and I don't see much different it almost seems like they kept the exact same structure of everything so let me ask um, what do you think is different under the hood um, see that, and that's the thing I don't know what could be different I mean uh, this if they decided to swap out a bunch of components and they're going to need to have different firmwares supporting the mid card one which really didn't sell a lot of units realistically especially given that they're already swapping it out with this unit and they're going to need to make a firmware for an arguably obsolete which shouldn't be obsolete but an obsolete older card and one for this newer card I mean, that's just getting beyond ridiculous at that point. So my mm. guess is that it's probably just that they added the button. I would assume that because that button is placed exactly where those test points used to be, that they probably have uh, gotten rid of those test points on it. Mm. So okay. um, I do find it interesting, too, that actually, I believe, no, I believe the light is in the exact same spot. Okay. So no, right. I there's a, there's a little thing in the middle, but I think I, that's a manufacturing thing. I believe I actually had that on my card too. Okay, all right, good to hear. Now, also we want to note that news was going to be put out on Saturday. This would Mig announced on their website. What's ironic about that is that there's news also being dropped by a competitor. All right, and. I want to see how this plays out. Do you think this is all done on purpose? Do you think there is a war going on? What? Why do you think, one, we're showing these now, but why do you think we're getting this news and this is what they're going to relay out Saturday? When Unlock Switch, I believe, it's going to relay similar news. Isn't this kind of the same thing? Like, what? what's going on? I honestly think, I think they're trolling a bit. I think that Unlock Switch scared them. I think that they were maybe going to wait just a little bit longer to release this, maybe get a year's worth of sales out before coming out with this revolutionary new product with a button. But they got scared by Unlock Switch, and, and they might have they might have been scared into 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 releasing this now. Mm, damn. Woo. So why? Let me ask this: When Unlock Switch was first announced, why not do it then? why not because the moment unlock switch makes an announcement if you come out with that you immediately kind of shut them down in a way right i almost wonder if they called their bluff or mm. I, maybe more so that they didn't call their bluff yeah. um i think that they just didn't um think that it was real they thought it was a troll and they weren't going to let their business be uh thrown into the thrown to the wolves uh, just because of some random guy deciding to put a troll on twitter and as it turned out it uh ended up being just a little bit more uh, a little bit more than that i agree man now, you broke it down well said now outside of this we didn't want to hold everyone up too long we wanted to make this between 10 to 15 minutes to kind of cover everything 
um as news comes in we will continue to do more videos and relay more information i appreciate everyone who was able to watch this video and get the information also the previous live if you did not see that there was a lot of information we covered on that one uh it's, wow i can't even talk start to talk about how much we talked about in that last live um but i'm certain there's probably going to be more to come um yeah man i think that's it here we go mig version two car here's the button um dropped a little early i know how we get the news man i guess we on the ground i guess we got our ears to the ground man what are we well, doing hey i mean uh wololo himself shout out to wololo called us uh called us scene members so i guess we're just kind of uh we're, we're in now yo i ain't gonna lie wololo big shout out to you um but i don't like the scene i i don't know why man it's like it's almost like you being called a gang member you know what I mean? Like, can you think, is a scene member a positive thing? Well, right? I think it, Let's I talk. Think it just, I think it just depends on, uh, on how you want to look at it, because you don't have to be a scene sure. member and be a pirate. You know, that, 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 that's a different type of scene member, but, uh, it's... Agreed. Agreed, it's, then. Agreed. It's, you know, I don't know, it's just... I, I, I'm a little weirded out by it too. I mean, I'm not offended by any means. You know, I don't. No, I'm not offended by it either. That. If I'm a scene member, I'm actually flattered. I'm gonna be honest. It's just a little crazy because you know when you start out and every you know just so everyone knows, I'm sure me and you we probably started on similar paths, right? Where we're just looking at these game consoles that we own or or any electronics and how can we get the most out of it? And we're surfing the web trying to figure out and paths cross, right? And that's how we end up here, and we're still doing it years later so i understand that part and but you know it's a lot of stuff going on in the scene too you know what i mean that's why i know a little you know you know a little stuff i know a little stuff too so maybe we think but nonetheless i am flattered with the scene member i'll take it you know what i mean i'll go ahead and take it but other than that man dr specimen you got anything else man nothing at all i'm just Yo. uh i guess i just gotta end up by saying we're in Yo, we have been. I appreciate everybody, man. If you like the content, go ahead and hit the thumbs up, man. Please subscribe. We are trying to hit bigger numbers, man. We're trying to continue to grow these videos. You are going to make them keep coming. Hit that like. Subscribe, man. We out. Holla.